We begin in Ottawa, where exhausted and angry residents are taking their frustrations with the ongoing truckers' protest to court today. An Ontario court is hearing arguments in a proposed multi-million dollar class action lawsuit brought by people living around the downtown encampment. They want the persistent horn honking to end. The so-called Freedom Convoy protest is now in its second week, and the hundreds who remain are vowing to stay until COVID mandates are lifted. Paul Champ joins me now. He's the principal lawyer at Champ Associates. He is the one to argue a class action lawsuit on behalf of those thousands of residents. Good morning, Paul. Glad you could be with us. So tell us more about what the claim is based on and what your clients are seeking. Yeah, good morning, Marcia. We're uh, bringing a claim on behalf of all the downtown residents. Uh, the lead plaintiff, Zexy Lee, um, is bringing the claim on behalf of all of her neighbors. It's really just focused on the air horns and the rail horns of the big semi trucks. Uh, as your viewers might have known, uh, these trucks have been blaring their horns from 7 a.m. until late in the night, almost constantly all day. Uh, at a decibel on the ground is around 100 to 120 decibels. And in your apartment, it's around 85 to 90 decibels, which is basically like having a lawnmower uh, running in your um, in your living room all day, Marcy, and it's it's really it's it's causing torture to uh, the downtown residents of Ottawa. Are they breaking the law by honking their horns, Paul? Well, they're certainly breaking uh, like the Highway Traffic Act and city bylaws. But the nature of this claim is what is called private nuisance. If you have a neighbor that uh, you know set up a big uh, truck or a piece of equipment or machinery in their backyard and we're running it all day, that would interfere with the use and enjoyment of your property and you could sue them for what's called private nuisance. And there's precedence on this, uh, that for loud noise uh, going for prolonged periods in a day, uh, an individual can, can get several hundred dollars per day of sound. And that's uh, what we're seeking on behalf of the downtown Ottawa residents. So you're before the judge today. Um, would the judge make a ruling right away or how will this likely roll out? Well, today we're before the court seeking what's called an interlocutory injunction. We're seeking a court order to compel those truckers to stop the honking now, immediately. Now, fortunately, because of some police action finally last night, it's, uh, it's quietened down a bit in downtown. But we want a court order in place that will ensure that they stop. Uh, it will give the police more powers to compel them to stop. And if those individuals don't stop honking in the face of an injunction or a court order, we'll be able to seek uh, further orders of contempt and possibly seizing those trucks. Is the ultimate goal here, Paul, just to have them leave? Well, you know, Marcia, the people of Ottawa are familiar with protests. Uh, we've had lots of mass protests before and sometimes taking over a period of time. And, uh, you know, the, the Ottawa residents are fine with that generally. But this protest has, has taken on a completely different dimension. It stopped being a protest a long time ago. Um, you know, the uh, downtown residents are being harassed on the street. Businesses are closed because of the harassment. Um, there's uh, safety issues. And these horns really is, is just creating a, a completely unacceptable and intolerable situation. So, you know, the, the quick answer is, you know, they, they have the right to protest and that's fine. But they, they have to do it in a way that's reasonable and, and respectful of the peace, people around them. Paul, we're going to follow this case. We really appreciate you taking the time to speak with us. Paul Champ is the principal lawyer at Champ Associates.